think he's saying is um, there isn't such a thing as a problem, uh, there's just a challenge. In all the countries that we've been in, I haven't found a better engineer. He is a good guy, he's one of the good ones. He's very patient. He's one of these people you see TV programmes in the UK about people that can take something that was going to be chucked away and make something out of it. That's Mick Turner. exceptional engineer uh, and covers the spectrum in the marine world particularly. He's very well respected locally as well by the Tunisians, not just the boating fraternity. Everything that he said he's going to do, not only does he do it, he does it exceptionally well, but he actually does it when he says he's going to do it. He turns up on time. If you have any work that needs done, doing on your boat, you really should give Mick a call. He's, quite, he's a very sociable sort of person as well. And when you see him work, it's more than just work to Mick, it's a passion. I had a business, a metal fabrication factory, and um, so that was going all right, but we just thought, you know, sometimes it's, it'd be nice to look to do something else. And the sailing was the thing. And I did a trip back to England on an old 1930s gaff rig cutter, and the skipper was, um, was delivering it to Liverpool and he told us about Tunisia. So he said, oh, you know, it's, it's a nice country. So we looked and we booked in here for a year. And this was you know, 2007. And then we're looking to, to leave, which would be 2008. And then the banks and the crash happened. So we had to make a decision what to do, which was either to go back to the UK or to make a business here and we decided that the sunshine and everything else it was better to make it here than start again in the UK so that's what we did. <laughs> so Mick Turner did three jobs for us he repaired our bow thruster he installed a water filtration system and he fixed our uh, Webasto diesel heater. And I must say, although I have a company car, whenever I have a problem with my car, I always speak to Mick first. He's very bloody clever, which is really annoying sometimes. And we started off even with doing engine services, uh, which it was due anyway. Uh, he also taught me how to do it, because we'll do our own from here on in. And he found a fault uh, in one of the engines that had never been picked up by the Volvo specialists. That's, uh, that's Mick Turner. I can't say any more. He is, is a fantastic guy, a real fantastic guy. Yeah.